all on my lane. You all on my lane. You ain't overlooked. So get out the way. I gave you the book. I gave you the game. The boy got a cook, yeah, yeah. The boy got a flame, yeah. Serving in the kitchen like a Nino. Plenty bitchin', whipping different flavors like a bistro. Kick it, dip it, flip it, keep it hunting like a C note. Switch it, keep it pimping every single place that he go. I got it. Lathan got the flame, Lathan got the flame. Boy, you know the name, get up out the way. Lathan got the flame, Lathan got the flame. Stay up out the kitchen if you ain't the one that's whipping, huh? Hey, yo, Lathan, man, cook them boys up something real quick, man. What's going on YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Now, this video is incredible and it's strictly for the Super Bowl. So first off, we're gonna go ahead and get our bell pepper together. Um, I got plenty of videos showing you how to cut bell peppers. Um, so you can check out my quesadilla burger video, um, the video when I made salsa. So you can check out a lot of videos to get an in-depth on how to cut bell peppers. Um, but for this, I'm just julienne and some bell peppers is going to give us some great contrast when it comes to the shrimp and grits plus it's going to give us some additional color that we need um, when it comes to this dish to make it pop visually and then next after that we're going to go on with our green onions and i'm just slicing them on a bias um you can slice them on a bias or cut them regular it's pretty much up to you but i wanted it to kind of look a little bit fancy so i'm just slicing up along the bias now this shrimp and grit trifle is gonna blow your mind. Um, whether if it's go Chiefs or go Buccaneers, it's gonna be go shrimp and grits because you're gonna love this and it's gonna be friendly um, during this pandemic. So next off, we're gonna go on with our sausage. Now the way I'm gonna cut this sausage is gonna give us an effect because I'm going really thin. It's gonna give us an effect kind of like it's ground sausage um, and. You only get that effect with this kind of sausage. This is um, no preservatives. Um, it's all natural sausage. Uh, it's 100% beef sausage. But you only get this effect with these kind of sausages um, in the natural casing. But um, this sausage is gonna give us um, that effect that look like ground sausage without actually having ground sausage. Then we got some large shrimp. Um, this is 21 to 25 shrimp. So that's 21 to 25 pieces per pound. All right, and for our grits, we got a cup of grits. We got a cup of Monterey Jack. We got a fourth of a, of a cup of cream cheese. And we got two tablespoons of unsalted real butter. Now, these grits are gonna be incredible, but we can't leave off the half and half. We got four cups of half and half. Um, you can use milk if you want, you can use heavy cream, but half and half is gonna give us that decadent flavor, as well as keep the grits a little bit looser, especially because we're putting a cup of cheese in there. Um, so the first step you wanna do is go in with your half and half. Now, side note, you can cook real grits if you want, be there for three hours, or two hours, or one hour, or you can cook these instant five minute grits and give you this perfect shrimp and grits for the Super Bowl. You know, man, it's Super Bowl Sunday. We ain't got time to be cooking all day in the kitchen. So instant it is. So once those grits, well, once that half and half get hot, um, before it reach the boiling point, go ahead and add the grits in. You wanna catch it before it reach the boiling point because if it reach that boiling point, they'll begin to scorch and then it'll begin to boil over and you wanna mess up your stove. So make sure you catch it before it reach boiling. Then we're going in with a little salt and like I said, these are five minute grits, so you're gonna start start seeing them kind of thicken up instantly. Then, that's the secret to my grits. We got a little chicken bouillon. You can omit that, you can add that, it's up to you, but it just give us that extra, extra, extra flavor that we also need when it comes to these delicious shrimp grits. So, I'm gonna go just keep stirring because you do not want to squish these grits. Once you squish the grits, you gotta start over because ain't nothing you can do to take that scorched flavor out of grits. So just make sure you keep stirring it and make sure that heat is at a medium low. Uh, you don't want that heat on sky high. Just make sure that heat is at a medium low and you continue to stir. So make sure you stir, medium low heat, stir, medium low heat. And so once we get to this point, the grits are almost ready. And we're gonna go on in with our cheese. And that Monterey Jack cheese is gonna kind of cool them down a little bit. So you're gonna see it kind of just chill out a bit. Um, but 
but you want to make sure you stir that cheese in there um, you don't want that cheese to congeal so just make sure you keep stirring you can whisk it in there if you wanted to um, but make sure you stir them and we're gonna pop that dollop of butter on top and just let it roll on the side and now we get our shrimp going and now you want to cook these shrimp just until they okay because um, you don't want to overcook the shrimp. We ain't looking for no rubber bands. We're looking for good, tasty shrimp. And I'm going to hit it with a little salt, but be mindful of how much salt you're using. Because like I said, we're going to use that juicy crab oil sauce. And that's the cheat code to these shrimp and grits. Um, you can make that sauce if you want. Or you can buy that sauce if you want. It's plenty of recipes online to show you how to make it. Or you can go to your favorite crab boy spot and just buy the sauce. I mean, this is Super Bowl Sunday. We're not trying to be in the kitchen all day. So simple is going to be the best. So you see me adding a little more oil in this pan before I add the sausage. You don't have to, but that's the only way I could prevent that good fun from burning. So I added a little oil. But we're gonna drain that oil off of this sausage because the sausage is gonna make its own oil as well. So you're gonna see a bunch of oil in there, but we're gonna drain it all off. Then we'll go in with our julienne peppers. Mm, look at that. I wish you guys smell it. Smell it, computer screen, uh, the phone screen, whatever you use, just smell it because it smells so incredible. You can smell that, it smells a vision. And that is our juicy crab oil sauce. And we're just gonna go on with it. Make sure you go ahead and kill that heat because this sauce is almost 90% butter and you don't want to break that butter it's probably break anyway but just try to prevent from making it extra greasy um, like I said it's like 90% oil so just be mindful of that so here's the trifle we're gonna go on with some delicious grits and for my trifle dishes I said three shrimp at the bottom that was perfect number for me but you can add four depending on you um then you're going to go with your sausage and your peppers then we're going to top it with some more of those delicious monterey jack grits followed by some more shrimp and this time we're going with four i don't know why i like to play with seven but seven is a perfect number but we're going on with those shrimp followed by that delicious sausage and pepper mixture Okay, now we got our drizzle of that delicious juicy crab boil sauce. And then we're gonna top it off with some of those green onions. Like I said, you can leave it on there, you can keep them, you can omit it, it's up to you. But look how delicious these shrimp and grit trifles look. Like I said, whether well, it's go Chiefs, go Bucks, who cares? It's go shrimp and grits. Happy Super Bowl Sunday. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Delicious trifle soup, shrimp and grits. I'm out.